Hi guys, welcome to this new lesson. Um, it's going to be a quick one just to show you the riff to Always Like This by Bombay Bicycle Club. Um, it's um, The whole thing is just over two chords. It's going to be over um, a D flat major or C sharp major, whichever way you want to look at that, and then a B flat minor or A sharp minor again. I tend to think of it in D flat, to be honest with you, D flat to B flat minor. Okay, uh, the way he plays it is like this. Um, he starts with a chord shape. So on the top E, you're playing the ninth fret. On the A, you're playing the 8th fret. On the D, you're playing the 11th fret. And on the G, you're playing the 10th fret. Like that. And uh, this is the way I think he plays it. Uh, you play the, the ninth fret twice. I'll do those both with downstrokes by the way. Then I'm going to play the G string with a down. And then I'm going to play 11 on the D and 8 on the A with like a, a mini up sweep. Like that, I just find it easier to play that phrase. Okay. Then we come out of the chord, I'm just going to play 11th fret on the A, then move it over to 11th fret on the D, and then move up to fret 13 on the D. Like that. Alright, over the, over the B minor, he plays this shape. Um, so you're holding down. 10th fret on the G, 11th fret on the D, and 13th fret on the A string, and that gives you basically like a little B flat minor triad. And it's the same rhythm and the same, pretty much the same picking as well. We're going to go two down picks on the A string, down on the G string, and then going to do this mini sweep going from the 11th fret on the D to the 13th on the A. Like that. Then a little shift down. This is all on the A string. 8, 9, 11. And that's the riff. So um, if you want to, if you want me to do the rest of it, then just um, put something down in the comment box. Uh, if you're on YouTube, um, as usual, if you want to follow what I'm doing uh, lesson-wise, um, look um, look down in the description box. You will see my Facebook page. So if you like that, you'll be able to keep up with me there. Also, do visit my website. There's loads of great stuff on there. Loads of free lessons, backing tracks, all sorts of things. So, um, yeah, do go there. Um, have fun with this, and I'll see you next time.